Hey there, it's Kalen from Kite, the AI autocomplete plugin for Python. Today we're going to explore web scraping using the popular framework Beautiful Soup and the cutest thing to hit the internet in 2019, Baby Yoda. We're major Baby Yoda fans here at Kite, so today we'll be using Beautiful Soup and the request library to extract Baby Yoda images from Reddit. In the process, we'll get more familiar with web scraping as a tool. Beautiful Soup is a powerful Python web scraping library for extracting data from HTML files. This makes it a must have in your Python toolkit. We'll pair Beautiful Soup with the request library, another Python staple to fetch the web page's HTML files via get requests. Don't be mistaken, web scraping has many different professional applications as well, like extracting product specs for a database project, or as often the case in machine learning, in generating a large training data set for a model, we may want to collect these data by scraping sources on the web. In both examples, web scraping plays a critical component in completing the project, so it's a skill we'll want to have mastered. Scraping Baby Yoda picks is simply a fun way to get started. To start, we must ensure beautiful soup and requests are installed on our machine. Open the command prompt and type pip install requests to install the request library. And pip install bs4 will install the beautiful soup 4 library. Now we can start writing our web scraping script. Import the request library by typing import requests. We'll also need to import beautiful soup from the BS4 library. We need to define the URL that we want to scrape, so let's use a link to a Baby Yoda subreddit. Next, we are going to begin using the requests library. We'll make a get request to the Baby Yoda subreddit in order to get the page's content. To do this, we'll create a variable called response to call requests.get with our URL as its only parameter. This makes a request to the URL and returns a response object. The response object contains the server's response, which in turn includes its web content, URL headers, status, and many more other attributes. Kalen here with Kite, the best in-editor autocomplete and doc search for programmers to help you code smarter and faster. You can download it now for Python and more languages coming soon. Using this, we can make a beautiful soup instance and begin to find images of Baby Yoda. First, create a variable named soup, calling beautiful soup. This will instantiate a web scraper. Instantiating a web scraper requires the content of a get response. In this case, we want the HTML content of the response object we created. We also must provide a string for the name of a parser that iterates over the HTML. This content is located in the content attribute of our response object, so we reference it as response.content. As for the parser, there are a number of options available, but for this video, I'll be using html.parser. By now, we have the content of the Baby Yoda subreddit in the form of HTML tags. This can be a bit challenging to read as a user, so we'll call soup.printify to print out a formatted version of the HTML that's easier to consume. When we run this, the HTML file will be printed out. HTML files contain a variety of tags that make up a web page. In our case, we simply want to find the images that have Baby Yoda. This means we need to fill all the IMG tags. To do this, we call soup.find underscore all image, passing the IMG tag as the parameter we want extracted. This function extracts all tags that match IMG and stores them in a list. Of course, there are other images on the website that we don't want scraped. We'll need to filter them out somehow. We can do this by applying another parameter, ATTRS, standing for attributes. That filters tags by a specific dictionary of attributes. In this case, we want to find and extract image tags that have an alternate name or alt attribute equal to post image. This will only extract images that are in posts as opposed to images in profile pictures. The entire tag is extracted in the form of a dictionary. And from here, we need to extract the SRC or source attribute in order to download the images. Import URL lib.request so that we can download from the source attribute links. We'll create a for loop to iterate through each of these image tags found from the find underscore all function. Inside the for loop, we need to get access to the source URL for the image, and this is inside the source attribute of the tag. Use square braces, like when indexing a dictionary, to get the source element. I'll call the variable image underscore src. We can use urllib.request to download the images contained in the URLs we just scraped. Call urllib.request.urlretrieve with the image underscore src variable as its first parameter, and the name of the file as its second. For simplicity's sake, I'll use a counter variable 
and assign that as each file name. Let's print each source URL so that we know they have been located in the HTML page. Now let's run the script and see the images download. I'm going to open a command prompt in the directory of my Python file and then enter python script.py to run my script. Looks like there were five Baby Yoda posts visible. We can see them numbered 0 through 4 here thanks to our counter function. And there's Baby Yoda. How cute. Just look at him. Just sitting there. So there we have it. We successfully used Beautiful Soup in the request library to scrape pictures of Baby Yoda from Reddit. Now we can easily analyze and extract other adorable images from the web with Python. I hope you'll test this script out on other subreddits or other websites as that's the best way to master beautiful soup. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. We'll have more web scraping content coming your way from tutorials to more in-depth projects featuring beautiful soup and other popular web scraping frameworks like Scrapey. Finally, don't forget to check out the Kite AI Autocomplete plugin. It's free and the link's in the description below. See you next time.